booktube it's sunday early sunday evening here and thought i it's been a few days since i uh, done a video and i had hoped to do a friday reads but i never got around to it uh what i've been reading this week is i got the thomas carlyle biography uh from um uh, postscript a remainder house uh, well, I read the first half of it in the first couple of days, and I haven't read since then. Um, it's called a biography, however, it's a little straight, like, to me, I guess you could say it's an intellectual biography. The first chapter, uh, which runs to, uh, maybe 30-some pages, um, it sort of takes you up to the death of his wife, Jane Carla, so it's, like, very short. Then it goes into more detail about his writing, and it's not so much biography anymore. It's it's about his writing and what he believed, what he was trying to get across in his writing, uh, through like Sartre or Sartus, uh, uh, past and present, uh, the French Revolution and his essays and so forth. Uh, and to be honest. I'm almost more confused after reading uh, half this book about what um, Carlyle was writing about than I was before. So I don't know if it's me or the um, the author. Uh, I will persevere because it's, it's, it's only 200 pages, 220 pages of text. So I'll finish it in the next few days, uh, I have no doubt. Um, but I also thought I'd come and do... Uh, there's a few book tags uh, that I uh, would like to do. There is um, uh, Maryberry Book Club. I uh, did one called the uh, Recluse uh, Book Tag. And I thought that was kind of interesting, so I'd like to do that. There's a couple others, and then uh, uh, somebody put a comment up. Um, sorry, I don't have it here now. With some questions, uh, with like four or five questions which I'll wind up doing. I'll probably save it till Tuesday. I'll do an actual proper Tuesday uh, tab, book tag, and I'll wait for those questions. There's some really good questions there, um, uh, more or less aimed at me, but I think they could be any any kind of uh, booktuber and book collector. So it'll be interesting to do. But let's uh, look at um, the Recluse uh, book tag. Um, first question is, what do you look for in the Ultimate Bookstore in under an hour? Well, not near enough time in my ultimate bookstore. Uh, days, weeks may not be enough time in my ultimate bookstore. But let's say, for instance, a book sh a bookshop uh, that had a lot. Because I, I I'd like to get back into reading uh, older classical science fiction, uh, golden age science fiction, and I just don't see that anymore. So if it, if there was a bookshop that had that, I'd probably gravitate there. And just devour and buy everything that I could find, especially paperback or mass market paperbacks of all the authors that I liked and have read and want to reread and and hopefully find ones that I have not read. Um, so that's where I would. And then if there was still enough time, I'd probably go to an essay section uh, if, because in my ultimate bookshop there'd be a massive essay se uh, section. Uh, and then history, um, usually, uh, most likely English history. Uh, number two, uh, what is your favorite reclusive character or novel with a reclusive antisocial or loner character? And then the second part is a novel with an isolated or claustrophobic setting. I suppose they could probably be put together, but I will uh, do uh, for the recluses. This is a, a reprint of Clifford Simak's Way Station. Uh, it was first published in 1963 or 5. Bear with me. Uh, 1963. It won the Hugo Award. And it's set in Millville, Wisconsin. And that's where Clifford Simak uh, was born and grew up. Yeah, it's from what I understand. It's basically just a crossroads now with a sign, uh, say in Millville and a few derelict buildings. But this is the uh, in the setting of the book. This is the home of Enoch Wallach, Wallace. Enoch Wallace. Uh, he fought in the Civil War. 
Uh, so we're getting to sort of territory of uh, uh, John Carter uh, who fought in the Civil War. But Enoch Wallach fought in the Civil War. He goes back home uh, to his uh, family's farmhouse. And he gets contacted by aliens. And what they want to do is put, um, uh, like, jumping off points. Like they, uh, it's, it's like they bring people into jumping off points. Um, sort of like a beaming technology, but before beaming technology there was. And they would be reconstituted in the basement, in the caverns that they carve out for him uh, under, his, uh, under his farmhouse. And then they have to, you know, stay there for a little while uh, before they continue on with their journey. And that's where it's way station, uh, where if things come and then they go out. And that's, that's what the way station is. He's practically immortal um, as long as he stays in, within the confines of the farmhouse and the caverns. Uh, every time he goes out, he ages. Uh, so for years, like he's 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 a uh, you know gossip around because they he, they do see him and and he uh, goes out to collect his mail uh, every day uh, and then something happens that he has to face the real world again uh, but I won't get it because that's big spoiler time for 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 the story but it's uh, the there's many aspects of Enoch that I like. He uh, he was uneducated basically, but he's had a hundred uh, years almost to to learn and read. And uh, there's he's got quite a library, and he talks to the aliens that come through uh, and stay there for a little while. Uh, a couple die uh, because of malfunctions, but uh, he also likes the uh, American. Um, uh, what was it called? I had it in my mind. Uh, American Scientist, uh, American uh, Scientific Magazine. Uh, it's something like that. I can't remember the name now, but it was a magazine I used to get too. It's, it had science in science articles, archaeology archeo ar articles. A fabulous magazine. I don't even know if it's still going. Scientific America. That's what it's called. Scientific America. And he he learned a lot uh, by this, and he has uh, all, every issue. Of this, it's it's painstakingly told, not painstakingly, but it is told. So yeah, so uh, he's he's reclusive for that reason, um, uh, away from other humanity, because if he leaves, he ages, and he doesn't want to age. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, move on. Uh, oh, uh, an isolated, an isolated uh, um, setting. That was a little harder for me. Like the only thing that came to mind was. Uh, um, James Mitch Michener's The Covenant, uh, because large parts of that are set, well, it's all set in South Africa, but the, uh, the Boers and the Boer Trekkers, Boer Trekkers, uh, and these families, they go out in the middle of nowhere, and they're isolated, they're a hundred miles or more from another family, and it's not just a straight road to there, it's up and over mountains, uh, to get there, really, really, uh, arduous journey, so, so I suppose that would be an isolated setting, uh, for me, uh, and with a week off, uh, this is number three, with a week off and no obligations, what books would you like to read? Well, I do have that, it started at four o'clock today, and I don't have to, uh, be back doing work until, uh, a week tomorrow morning at 7.30, so I have a whole week. I plan on, and I will finish uh, this Carlyle uh, biography. I've got Jane Welsh Carlyle that I'll probably read as well. Um, and I'm not sure what else. Uh, I've got to sort stuff and, and get stuff back on the shelves. So I'm sure something will pop up of interest. Uh, probably continue reading uh, more letters, uh, dipping into volumes of letters. Uh, and then the number four was... What books would you actually be reading? Well, these definitely, this book and the Jane, Jane Walsh Carlyle. The rest is, we'll see. Uh, I haven't got anything else uh, set in stone for, for my week off uh, for reading. But no, yeah, that was the Recluse uh, book tag. I'll put the questions down at the bottom, and I'll put uh, the Mayberry book, tag, uh, book Club 
um, video. Uh, it may not go up immediately. I'll wait till it goes up uh, onto the site because I do on my phone. It's too difficult to put text in, and then I'll add the text uh, after it's up. But getting back, yeah, I got two books here. It's the Centennial Edition. This is the Way Station, Way Station, and City is the other volume that they they uh, they did. And this one again, this one for. Uh, Hugo, I think it won both Hugo and Nebula Awards, this one, if I remember right, and, uh, it was, it was originally published, they're short stories, City is, uh, originally published, um, in, in magazines, and I think in book form in 52, uh, yeah, 1952, um, and, and then, and then in, uh, late 70s he wrote, uh, 76, or is that? I think 76, he wrote, uh, uh, um, I think the final story, epilogue, 70, I'll say 73, I thought it was later than that, but yeah, he wrote, he wrote a little epilogue story, uh, for, um, another compilation, uh, compilation of, of science fiction stories, and then it was added to later printings of the, uh, of the uh, 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 of the collection uh, paperback books, but uh, I, I do I do love this book uh, City. It's uh, Huddling Place is my favorite story in it, um, and it's it has one of the best openings um, ever. Uh, it's the editor uh, who's editing these stories. <clears throat> these are the stories that dogs tell when the fires burn high and the wind is from the north then each family circle gathers at the hearthstone and the pups sit silently and listen and when the story's done they ask many questions what is man they'll ask or perhaps what is a city or what is a war that, to me, is a fabulous beginning of a book, especially from an editor. Um, but yeah, these are nice additions. Uh, they're nicely made. They're cloth uh, with a facsimile of Clifford's signature on the cover. Sadly, they only did two, as far as I know, and they are quite pricey now, I think, because they're, they're no longer in print. Um, it was done by Old Earth Books in Baltimore, Maryland. Um, they were published, uh, this is 2004 for, um, City, and 2004 for Waystation as well. So it was two biggest books. Um, I can't afford first editions of these, so these suffice. Anyway, have a good uh, reading uh, the rest of your Sunday book tube, and I will be back throughout the week uh, with videos uh, because I have a whole week off. So be prepared. Have a good evening, book tube.